guys! Hi everyone! So again, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Ayan, sana magustuhan nyo yung aking video na ito. So ngayon, nandito kami nakapila ni asawa dahil uh, may ticket na kami pero yung mag uh, mag uh, fill in or uh, mag ano mag uh, book in. So, yan. Yeah. Kailangan mo talaga manila para makuha mo yung uh, receipt. Ayan, yung inaabot niya sa akin. Bumili na rin kami ng book. Lovely. Yeah, So ayan, ito po yung exhibition room nila dun sa loob Ayan, bago ka pumunta doon sa Stonehenge mismo Nadaan ka muna dito sa exhibition center nila Para mapakita nila sa iyo kung ano ba talaga yung Stonehenge Yung history niya, yung itsura niya Pagka-araw, tanghali, gabi, maulan na, na snow Ayan, pag lumabas yung mga sunset Iba-ibang ano Iba-ibang uh, pinapakita nila Sobrang ganda Nakakamangha Kasi ano yun eh, TV screen yun eh Sobrang laki Tapos nakapalibot siya Ayan. Kahit si Henry na mangha Sabi niya, wow Guys, as you know, Stonehenge is isa sa pinakasikat dito sa UK. Dinadayo talaga siya ng mga turista. Kaya mamaya makikita nyo yung actual talaga ng Stonehenge. So sa ngayon, pinapakita ko sa inyo yung doon na exhibition. Yan. Yan ang itsura niya. super bait ng mga crew nasikaso nila yung mga bisita so dito sa Stonehenge Sky hindi ka basta basta makapasok dito pag hindi ka makabok ng ticket kasi very expensive siya as a family my husband paid 67 quid so siguro sa Pilipinas nasa 4,000 pesos sa 4,000 pesos or 4,500 pesos so yan ang presyo niya uh, for family pero uh, wala naman kami na save kasi kung bibil kami ng per head tapos i-separate namin yeah, garoon din naman yung resulta uh, pero sa mga family <laughs> na pupunta doon like 3 kids 2 <laughs> adults and 3 kids as in makakasave sila pero sa amin wala kami na save kasi nga isa lang naman yung anak namin Yes, love. Oh, lovely. Yeah, mas excited pa si Henry kasi sa akin. Circle of stone. So, ayan. Henry. Um, Nag-i-enjoy kami dyan. Nakakaikot. Yeah. Actually, uh, malaki yan. Hindi siya maliit. So, ayan, yan. Pagpasok mo dyan sa room na yan, may mga collectibles na uh, part of Stonehenge siya. Yes, ayan, yan, yan, you're yan. right. Yan, pagpasok mo dyan. Yan. Yan yung mga collectibles or mga remembrance or mga uh, isa sa mga precious mo uh, precious moment. <laughs> precious things or um, mga collectibles na talaga naka-display lang talaga sa dyan sa showroom na yan so, mga bato yan tapos may mga bones din dyan kanya-kanya mga shape ng bato na may mga story din sya 
Maganda siya. Malaki yung bed, malaki yung rooms na yan, mga lalat. Yung showroom na yan, malaki yan. Mukha lang siya maliit sa video, pero malaki yan siya. Malawak. Mm -hmm. The Henry, oh, okay, nag enjoy din. Yeah. Mahilig kasi si Henry sa mga history. Siguro nakuha niya sa akin yan. Na mahilig ako sa mga history. So, dito sa UK, is talagang pagka may day off, may ay day off si asawa, may driver ako. Talagang napipilitan siya nga mag-drive, papunta sa mga ganitong lugar. Kasi, ako talaga mismo nag-decide. Ako talaga nakikisuyo sa kanya na, oh, mahal. Punta tayo sa ganitong lugar. Like this, sa Stonehenge na to. So, 9 years ago, or 10 years ago, ayan, sabi ko, gusto ko mapuntahan yan. Kasi sikat na sikat po itong Stonehenge. Super sikat itong Stonehenge sa buong uh, England. Isa ito sa pinakasikat na tourist uh, spot or prehistoric uh, tourist spot dito sa UK. So, ayan. Talagang dinadayo talaga siya ng mga turista. Dinadayo siya ng mga... Uh, tao na galing sa iba't ibang bansa pa tapos nag, ang iba dito nagko-coach lang tapos 30 minutes lang yung time nila tapos takbo na naman sila sa ibang uh, tourist spot ng part ng UK so kailangan pag pumunta ka dito mga lalab you have to spend time like 2 to 3 hours is not enough pero kung gusto mo naman, kung nagmamadali ka naman 2 hours to 3 hours, okay na Pero pagka uh, hindi ka naman nagmamadali, you uh, spend time with your family, then, you know, you better stay up here. Parang, ano na rin ninyo, yung day out na rin ninyo na parang, doon na rin kayo nag, uh, ano, nagbabanding, magka mag-anak. Kasi ang in-spend namin dyan is umabot ng, ano eh, 4 hours, 5 hours. Hindi kami umalis ka agad. So, talagang inikot namin, nilibot namin yung lahat. Diyan, ito pa lang, dito pa lang tayo sa exhibition room. Ayan, tinapakita yung history ng Stonehenge, yung mga na-discover nila. Ayan. So, mga highlights pa lang. Ayan, 6,000 BC, 5,500 5, BC until 4,000. Ayan. Ayan, pinapakita nila. Ayan. Sa showroom lang yan. Ayan, yan ang Stonehenge. Yung kauna-unahang Stonehenge. Ayan. About 3,500 BC. Ayan. Ayan, yung itsura ng mga grass. Ayan. Very, ano siya, informative siya. Sobrang mag enjoy kayo mga lalag. Ako talagang dream come true to na nabisita ko yung Stonehenge. Sa showroom pa lang, busog na busog na yung mata ko eh. Ayan. From uh, 15, ayan. Ayan. From 200 BC hanggang uh, 6,000 BC ang history niya. Talaga nakaantatay. Ayan. Yan naman yung uh, ano niya, yung Stonehenge. Rock niya. Ayan. Bato yan. Yan yung model. Ayan, 1,000 years of change. Ayan yung itsura niya. A sacred enclosure. Ayan. Ayan. Sobrang yaman ng UK pagdating sa mga prehistoric buildings or mga uh, spot dito. Ayan, for its attraction. <coughs> A sacred enclosure. Yan. Tapos yung next na spectacular stone circle na pinapakita nila. Ang ganda niya pag nakita nyo sa personal mga lalag. Sa ngayon pinapakita ko parang sa inyo yung sa showroom pa lang yun ha. Yan pa lang yun sa may uh, exhibition. Yan. Pinapakita nila. Ayan, nag-start dito oh, sa 1,000 years ago. Ayan. Ayan naman 2,500 BC. Ayan yung itsura niya. 
And then, yan, dito naman, sa hawak ni, katapat ni Henry. Ayan, yan naman yung... Oh my gosh! Yan, yan, yan naman yung 2,200. Uh, That's really awful. Hmm? 2,200. An evolving structure. So, ayan yung last na model. Ayan. Arwain Temple. Today. Ayan. Ganyan na siya ngayon. Pero marami na siya mga bato na na missing. Hindi na siya ganun karami. Punti na lang siya. Maganda yung history ng UK, lalo na sa mga bata, mm -hmm. yung mga Iron Age. <laughs> Yan. Yeah. Interesting That's siya. Nice. And, lalo na si Henry, gustong gusto ni Henry, nagkustuhan niya. Kaya dinadala namin siya sa mga ganitong bagay. Yeah. Sa mga ganitong lugar. Kasi kailangan nila yung sa school nila. Kaya nga maswerte siya nakarating sa kung, kung saang mga Iron Age na nakaano dito sa UK eh. Kaya marami siyang naikwento sa classmate niya, sa teacher niya. Naikwento niya dun kung uh, paano niya nabisita, kung paano niya napuntahan. So may idea na siya. And then isa ito sa party ng klase nila. Kasi si Henry par uh, year 3 na siya eh. So more on pagdating sa history, yan, mga Iron Age, mga Second World War Two, mga ganyan. Tapos ang nangyayari dito sa mga hari at reyna. Isa rin yun sa mga ano nila. Mga requirements nila. Not requirements, pero sa pinag-aaralan nila. Kailangan talaga may alam sila sa history. Hindi pwedeng wala. Eh, yun din ang dahilan kung bakit ito yung banding namin. ba? Diba? Mas may uh, may sense naman kung ito yung banding ng kamag-anak kaysa sa mga parang kwentang laro or games na magsayang ka ng pera. Parang hindi naman worth it. Oh, oh worth it naman kasi pamilya eh. Sorry? Pero ito, pag so, ito yung pinasok nyo, worth it na worth it talaga yung pera. So slow. Kasi marami kayong matutunan. So, ayan. Yan yung mga bones ng... Okay. Sa so, mga discover nila. So, I'm not sure what kind of bones. Mababasa ko naman sa libro. Ayan. Ito yung isang bato na... Ano uh, sa labas ng exhibition? Super lucky niya. Super bitar. Asaw. Nakikita na niya si Asaw ng picture-picture. Kasi ako yung nag-ano eh. Oh, picture na yun lang. Kita dito. Kasi yung mga houses. Kasi yung mga houses. Kasi yung mga pictures on it. Ayun lang ang katuwa kasi. Maganda siya mag-picture sa akin. Pagdating ako, na mag-picture sa kanya. Wala talaga. Sabaw. Sabaw talaga yung ginagabasan. No. Okay. And it's inside now. Ay, mga lalaps. Ayan. Ito yung roundhouses ng 5,000 uh, PC. Ayan. Ito yung mga itura na yun. Iba mukhang bago na lang yan. Pero yung foundation ng stone. Ayan. Sobrang tagal na. Isa sa 5,000 PC. So, talagang uh, matanda na. Buto-buto na lang kumbaga sa tao pang mabubuhay ka pa ng ganyan. Diba? Ang buhay ng tao ngayon. Diyos ko, tuwang tuwa ka naman. Kaabot ka ng 70. Ang dami kasi namamatay na mga, ba mga bata pa. Sana huwag naman namangyari. Huwag naman lahat. <coughs> mm. 
Ayan. So, yung pagdating niya doon sa loob, umupo siya kaagad. Maluwag yan, mga lalab. Malaki yan. Mukha lang siya maliit kasi uh, dahil siguro sa video ko. Pero malaki yan, maluwag yan. Kasi ang ilang pamilya dyan na uh, tumira or if ever na umulan, yan, pwede siya sumilong dyan. Malaki yan sa loob. Ayan. Sakay muna kami ng bus papunta dun sa Stonehenge. Maglalakad na lang kayo mamaya pa uwi. Ayan, medyo mahaba din yung pila dun sa bus. Papunta dun sa taas, sa Stonehenge. Ayan. Pero madali lang yung biyahe yung mga lalat. So, wala pang 5 minutes. There you go. Let's start it! And then, back, back, back. Kami pa lang yung tao. So far, so good. Hindi pa masyadong busy. Ayan, maya maya magdatingan yung mga yan. Kasi hindi lalabas yung bus na ito pag hindi tumuha. So, naka-ano talaga, naka-scan. Henry! Bago lumalit ka. Ay talaga yung sila lupas na yung mga mga mga. O diba po, na, yan na umandar na. Akyat na kami sa storage. Hi guys, so ayan na dito kami ngayon sa bus, papunta doon sa taas, Stonehenge, doon na sa actual stone. Yeah, and daming tao, nung puno yung bus. So, yung ano nila, yung bawat trip nila, ayan, puno yung bus. Hindi sila umaalis pag hindi puno yung bus. Yes. So, ayan. Buti na lang hindi kami naglakad kasi medyo may kalayuan din ka. So, yun ang ginawa namin. Nag-bus kami papunta doon. And then, nag din kami pababalik. Kasi ayaw ko na rin maglakalit. Ayaw ko na rin mapawisan. Kasi mainit na yan eh that time. 16 degrees. Maano yung araw. Masinag yung araw. Pero yung hangin malamig. So, ang dami naglalakad. Kala kasi nila malapit lang. So, ayan na makikita nyo na yung konting highlights ayan lumalabas na dyan sa bintana o oh. kapit na kami nyan Ayan, 
iba nakatayo na lang. This way, Henry. This side. But this is just one of those ones. Yeah, yeah. Hello, Mr. A lot. There's so much. Ayan na mga lalads. Ayan na ang Stonehenge. Ayan na. Lapit na kami. We can go around like Ayan na. That's great. Ayan guys. Bibigyan ko lang kayo ng 10 facts about Stonehenge. Okay? Ang una ay Stonehenge is yeah. a stone circle in Wiltshire, England. Stonehenge is a stone circle made up of 38 stones in Salisbury Plain in Wiltshire. Ang pangalawa it was built 5,000 years ago. Archaeologists think work started on Stonehenge around 5,000 years ago yeah, in a period of first. history we call the late Neolithic Age. The third, it took 1,000 years to build and then took over 1,000 years to build in four long stages. Archaeologists believe that the final changes were made around 1,500 BC in the early Bronze Age. Henry, Henry, look. Okay. Ah. Number four. Scientists think that the stones were a way nice. to tell the time of the year. <laughs> okay. Each year on 21 June, which is the longest day of the year, 
the sun rises over the hillstone at Stonehenge. This is called the summer solstice. The sun also always sits over the hillstone on the shortest day of the year. This means that our ancestors were probably using Stonehenge as a calendar. There are lots of theories about how the placement of the stone would coincident to their month seasons of the years. Number 5. Stonehenge is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. A World Heritage Site is a landmark with legal protection for having cultural, historical, or scientific importance. Stonehenge is one of the most famous prehistoric landmarks in the world of has great history significance. Number six, nobody knows for sure how the stones were moved to Stonehenge. How the stones were moved to the Stonehenge site is a mystery that still hasn't been involved. We know some of the stones came from Wales. That is a long way to transport stone that weigh more than four elephants each. Some theories are that they were dragged on sly before being taken on rough over water, but this has never been proven. Number seven. In the 12th century, there was a rumor Stonehenge was moved by a wizard. A legend from the 12th century claimed giants placed Stonehenge on a mountain in Ireland before a wizard named Merlin magically moved the stone circle to England. Number 8. New research suggests Stonehenge was once in Wales. New research shows that this stone circle may have been made in standing in Wales before being moved. This would have been very hard work and means that this stone must have been very important to them. Number 9. Each year people gather at Stonehenge to celebrate the summer solstice and be present at Stonehenge as the sun rises. Every year on the 21st June, around 20,000 people watch the sunrise over Stonehenge. Number 10. We know Stonehenge was used as a cemetery. Archaeologists have worked out that Stonehenge was used as a cemetery and its slightly funeral ceremonies would have been performed at the site. Though why those who pass away were buried here, no one is quite sure. People think Stonehenge was also a place of healing where people believe Stonehenge has power. Better this side now. What was Stonehenge originally built for? There is strong archaeological evidence that Stonehenge was used as a burial site. At least four parts of its long history, but most scholars believe it served other functions as well. Either as a ceremonial site, a religious pilgrimage, destination, a final resting place for royalty or a memorial erected to honor. So what is the biggest mystery about Stonehenge? Well, researchers say that the site was created based on the solar year of 365.25 days to help people keep track of days, weeks, and months. Yeah. And the mystery of the Stonehenge may finally have been unveiled by researchers who say it's a giant solar calendar that may link the UK to ancient Egypt. Why is Stonehenge so special? Well... 
the significance of Stonehenge itself can be summarized as follows Stonehenge is the most architecturally sophisticated and only surviving in lentil stone circle in the world the largest stage of the monument is one of the largest cremation cemeteries known in Neolithic Britain So, which is older pyramids or Stonehenge? Well, the answer is, for the comparison construction on the Stonehenge is believed to start around 3100 BCE, while the famed pyramids of Giza are thought to have been erected around 2600 BCE at the earliest. That make the round dell at least 1,000 years old than Stonehenge and several thousand years older than the pyramids. What was found underneath Stonehenge? Uh, do like that post. The answer is, the results are astonishing. The researchers <laughs> have found buried evidence of more than 15 previously unknown or poorly understood late Neolithic mm. monuments. Yeah? Yeah, Hence, that's it. Barrows, segmented ditches, and pits. So the next question is, why did Stonehenge fall down? And the answer, the large stones at Stonehenge are sarsin, a form of sandstone. While they are good deal harder than the sandstone <laughs> that the pyramids off. of Gizeh are made from, they are still subject of withering. They may have no simply worn down to the point that they would no longer support themselves. What is still unknown about Stonehenge? So part of Stonehenge are missing. Previously, the center of is thought that have included an oval 30 smaller stones. However, many of stones have gone missing. One of the original five stone arches, only three still stand. In the outer stone circle at Stonehenge, two huge stones are missing. When did they stop letting you touch Stonehenge? Yeah. Well, in 1977, the stones were roped off so people couldn't climb on them any longer. Mommy, look. Look at mommy. <laughs> he said, what's going on? Henry, you stand over there. I'm going to take a picture with the sheep. Nah, okay. Loud. Perfect. Nice picture. Can you go inside Stonehenge? An unforgettable opportunity to spend time inside the tranquil circle of Stonehenge. Stone circle experience at Stonehenge take you up close to this world famous monument. You covered it the whole stone. Don't! One last and then that's it. Come on out and then we'll see my last nata. Perfect. Okay, wait. Hey. Stonehenge, yeah. 
Archaeologists believe that Stonehenge was constructed from around 3000 BC to 2000 BC. So, um, her location is in Wiltshire, England. And the height, its standing stone was around 13 feet or 4.0 meters. Yung tangkad niya. It's not fake. It's not fake. Woo! Oh. Dad. It's a seat. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> so, um, what was Stonehenge used for? So the answer is, there is debate surrounding the original purpose of Stonehenge. Previously, though um, to be a droid temple, Stonehenge may instead be. According to researcher in the other's burial monument, a meeting place between chip domes or even an astronomical computer. Henry, you're gonna get dirty. Right <laughs> yeah, on this side, love. Stonehenge has a long been the subject of historical speculations and ideas before about the meaning and significance of the structure continued to develop in the uh, first uh, 21 century. English uh, antiquarian John Aubrey is the 17th century and his compatriot archaeologist William Stockley in the 18th century both believed that the uh, structure to be a droid temple. This idea has been rejected by more recent scholars. However, uh, Stonehenge is one now understood to have predated by some 2,000 years and the droids recorded by uh, Julius Caesar. Like they can do that. How they can do that? You're scared to shoot. You don't like red. <laughs> oh, what the smell! <laughs> oh no, from there. The shed. Yeah, we'll get some ice cream. <laughs> Don't do that, laugh. <laughs> yes, I know. So, in 1963, American astronomer Gerald Hawkins proposed that Stonehenge has been constructed as a computer to predict lunar and uh, solar eclipse. Huh? And uh, other scientists also attributed astronomical capabilities to the monument. Yeah. Most of this speculation to have been rejected by experts. And in 1973, English archaeologist Colin Refue hypothesis that Stonehenge was the center of a confederation oh, of Bronze Age chef domes. Other archaeologists, however, have since come to view this part of Salisbury Plain as a point of intersection between adjacent prehistoric territories. And uh, 
serving as a seasonal gathering place during the 4th and the 3rd millennia BCE for groups living in the lowlands to the east and west. And uh, in 1998, Malagasy archaeologist Ramil Lisonena proposed that um, Stonehenge was built as a monument to the ancestral dead and the uh, permanence of its permanence of its stone representing the eternal afterlife. In 2008, British archaeologists Tim Darwell and Geoffrey Winwright suggested on the basis of the Amesbury Archer, an early Bronze Age skeleton with a knee injury excavated 3 miles or 5 kilometers from Stonehenge, that the Stonehenge was used in prehistorically as a place of a healing. However, analysis of human remains from around and within the monument shows no difference from other parts of Britain in terms of the population's health. The uh, Stonehenge that is visible today is in conflict. Many of its original sarsens and bluestone having been broken up and taken away, probably during Britain's Roman and medieval periods. The ground within the monument also has been severely disturbed, not only by the removal of the stone but also the digging to various degrees and ends since the 16th century when historian and antiquarian William Camden noted that ashes and pieces of burnt bone were found. A large deep hole was dug within the stone circle in 1620 by George Villiers, first dog of Buckingham, who was looking for treasure. A century later, William Stokely surveyed Stonehenge and its surrounding monument, but it was not until 1874-77 that Richard Betray made the first accurate plan of the stone. In 1877, Charles Darwin dug two holes in Stonehenge to investigate the earth-moving capabilities of earthworms. The first proper archaeological excavation was conducted in uh, 1901 by William Golan. About half of Stonehenge, mostly on its eastern side, were excavated in the 20th century by the archaeologist William Holy in 1919-26 and Richard Atkinson in 1950-78. Uh, the results of their work were not fully published until 1995, however, when the, when the chronology of Stonehenge was revised extensively by means of carbon da uh, 14th dating, major investigation in the early 21st century by the research team of the Stonehenge Riverside Project led to further revision of the context and the sequence of Stonehenge. Timothy Darvell and Geoffrey Winwright's 2008 excavation was smaller but nonetheless, nonetheless important. Stonehenge was built within an area that was already special to Mesolithic and Neolithic people. About 8,000 to 7,000 BCE early Mesolithic hunters gatherers dug pits and erected pine posts within 650 feet or 2,000 meters of Stonehenge future location. It was unusual for prehistoric hunters gatherers to build monuments and there are no comparable structures from this area, from this area. Uh, era in northwestern europe within a three miles five kilometers radius of stonehenge there remain from the neolithic period at least 17 long barrows or burial mounds and uh, two courses monument long enclosure all dating of uh, 4 millennium bce between 2200 and 1700 bce during the bronze age the stonehenge during tone Stitch of the River Avon was the center of a concentration up for more than 1,000 round barrels on this part of Salisbury Plain. Stonehenge first stage 3000 to 2935 BCE. The oldest part of the Stonehenge monument was built during the period from 3000 to 2,935 BCE. It consists of the circular enclosure that is more than 330 feet 
or 1,000 meters in diameter, enclosing 56 pits called the Aubrey Holes, named after John Aubrey, who identified them in uh, 1666. The ditch of the enclosure is flanked on in the inside by a high bank and on the outside by a low bank or counter scrap. The diameters of the outer bank, the ditch, the inner bank, and the circle of Aubrey holes that are equivalent to, to 70, 300, 330, and 360 long feet, a long foot, is an ancient unit of measurement equivalent to 1.056 statue feet or 0.32187 meters respectively. Deposit in the bottom of the ditch included antler Peak, which were used to dig the ditch uh, itself, as well as bones of cattle in there that they were already centuries old when they were placed there. The, the circular enclosure had two entrances, the main axis or on the north S and the narrower entrance on the south. Although it once was believed that the Aubrey Hall served as a pit for wooden post excavation and archival research by the Stonehenge, Riverside Project revealed that they probably held Welsh glowstones. Human cremation burials were found within and around most of the holes as well as within the certain circle, ditch, and bank of an estimate 150 to 240 cremation burials of Stonehenge. 64 had been excavated by the first decades of the 21st century. The great majority of the burials were of adult males, and pieces of unburned human bone were also found scattered around Stonehenge. The area surrounding the Aubrey Halls was used as a place of burial from roughly 3,000 to 200. Uh, 2300 BCE. It is the largest known cemetery from the 3rd millennium BCE in Britain. A second smaller bluestone circle, 30 feet or 10 meters in diameter, and known as bluestone, was built on the bank of the River Avon over 1 mile or 1.6 kilometers from the Overy Holes found by the Stonehenge Riverside Project on 2009. It's consistent up about 25 wheelstones and uh, may have been used for cremating and removing the flesh from the body so remain were buried and scattered at Stonehenge. Blow Stonehenge stones were later dismantled and presumably brought to stone in Stonehenge. Most of the surviving 45 original blow stone of Stonehenge are of spotted dilorite, also called diabase. From the southwest Wales, specifically the Priscilla Mountains, other stone are realites, realitic stuff, volcanic ash, and dilorite are believed to be the same regions. A source from for one of the realites, however, was identified in 2011 as spawn season north of the Paralysis. The altar stone, a toppled upright, so called because it looked to the 17th century architect Inigo Jones like an altar at the center of the monument and another two sandstone monoliths, likely came from the Brecon Bacon, a cluster of mountains about 60 miles or 100 kilometers. As of the Priscelli Range, although most experts consider that willstone to have been brought by human agency some geologists argue that they might have been carried towards the Salisbury Plain thousands of years earlier by Ice Age glaciers. The hillstone, a large and work source in outside the northeastern entrance, also may have been erected during the first stage of Stonehenge. If not earlier, in addition, rows of timber posts hold within the northeastern entrance to the circular enclosure are thought to date. To this period, the posts that they contain may have been served to mark the movement of the moon toward its uh, northern major limit. The second stage of Stonehenge, 2604 A and 2480 BCE. Except for human burials, there is no evidence of activity between Stonehenge first and second stages of construction. About 25,000 
um, BCE, the stars and stones were brought from the Avory area of the Marlborough Downs, about 20 miles or 32 kilometers to the north. Outside the northeastern entrance of Stonehenge, they were dressed smoothly by uh, pounding with stars and hammers. They were then arranged inside the circle in a horseshoe shape, setting of five tall trilitons paired upright with a lintel, the central and the largest of which is known as the giant trilitons, surrounded by 30 uprights linked by carved lintels to form a circle. The stone appear to have been laid out systematically in units and subunits of the long foot. The circumference of the stars and circle is 300 long feet. The lintel weighing some seven tons age as uh, eight each are held on the top of the upright by mortise and tenon. The foot tail joint that ends of the carved lintel of the stars and circle fit together with tongue and groove joint. All the joints were created using hammer stone, presumably in imitation of woodwork. Most of the stars and upright weigh about 25 tons and are about 18 feet or 5.5 meters high the uprights of the giant trilithon. However, were 29 feet or 9 meters and 32 feet 10 meters high weighing more than 45 tons. Only one of the giant trilithon's uprights still stand, reaching a high above ground about 23 feet or 7 meters. Only 6 lintels out of the total of 230 sit in place on the sarsen circle with two more lying on the ground. Three of the five stars in three little lintel are placed with the two in the ground. Four of the upright from the stars in circle is absent and is one much shorter than the others. Also, it is possible that the stars in circle was never completed. The existence of the hole for an absent stars and suggests that this stone and other were used to the construction materials of the Roman building and medieval sources in the vicinity. The blue stone were observed by Atkinson to have been arranged into a double arc, which for convenience he called the Q in R holes. Atkinson records suggested that the Q in R holes predated the stars and circle and trilitons, but Darville and Winwright excavation in 2008 cast double on this stratigraphic relationship. It is more likely that the bluestone arc was uh, indeed constructed as part of the stars and circle and triliton monument, with bluestone brought from the Aubrey holes. Bluestone may also have been brought to Stonehenge at this time or slightly later from Bluestone where they had been removed by at least 2280 BCE and the Bluestone way up to uh, 4 tons each and the taller ones are over 6 feet to meters high. Most of them are unworked natural pillars. Four upright stone called in the station stones were erected near the Aubrey Hole Ring probably also during the second stage of Stonehenge if not during the period between the monument first and the second stages, only two of the stone boat of stars and have survived. The first station stones were placed in a rectangular formation aligned along the same solstitial axis as the Great Italian and the Blue Stone Arc. The two missing station stones were partially covered by low mounds known as the South Barrow and the North Barrow. The South Barrow was raised up on top to the floor of a 36 by 33 foot 11 by 10 meters building in the shape of the D that lay immediately to the east to the small southern entrance to Stonehenge Bank and Ditch. From this entrance, an undated passage, um, Marked by timber posts laid toward the center of the monument, other sarsens were erected within the northeastern entrance. Three of the uh, them form package across the entrance of which the sarsen known as the slaughter stone is the sole survivor. Beyond them lies the hillstone set within a circular ring ditch. Um, from the slaughter stone is to just pass uh, the hillstone. Three evenly spaced stone holes and they did share the same axis as the timber posts though uh, belong to the Stonehenge first stage. About the same time, the sarsen were erected, two sets of concentric timber circles were built within a large settlement also two miles kilometers to the northeast of the Stonehenge monument. One of the circle called the Southern Circle were set to the center of the Asian settlement of small houses. The other, uh, the small northern circle, was built on the north side of the settlement. Nine houses up to about 18 feet or 5.5 meters square in plan, were excavated in 2004-2007 and recon to form 
part of the 42 acres or 17 hectare settlement that may have supported up to 1,000 such dwellings. The seasonally occupied short-lived community in Toto have been builders' camp. By 2,460 BCE, it's ruined with enclosed by the bank and its of Britain's largest sense enclosure during Toon Walls. Outside its south entrance to their centric timber circle wood hedge. Hi guys, so grabe yung history ng Stonehenge. Meron pang third stage, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Ay grabe ang Stonehenge. Napakasikat sa buong mundo. World famous stone circle visited by uh, more than a million people per year. Grabe per year yun ha. It stands as an icon for all the mysteries and inspiring about humanity's prehistoric past. For well over a century, people have gathered to the monument to celebrate the summer stone size. Although banned in 1985, as a result of violent clashes with police, the annual gathering resumed in 2000 and now just a crowd more than 30,000 modern day Juedic uh, societies have claimed Stonehenge at their own temple. Even the identification of Stonehenge with the original droid is suspect. The first such society, the ancient order of droids, was formed in. 1781, more recently, the number of similar druidic and the other neo pagan group of rising in tandem with the decline and conventional religious belief. So, ayan, guys, grabe, no? Grabe yung, ano, yung history ng Stonehenge. Kaya hindi ko talaga pinalampas. Bumisita talaga kami kasama yung asawa ko at uh, anak ko. Kasi sabi ko nga, is importante yun sa school ng bata. Kasi year 3 na kasi si Henry, so uh, kailangan mo na siya igala sa mga Iron Age, sa mga Bronze Age, para alam nila yung mga history. Pero siguro makakalimutan niya rin ang paglaki niya. Kaso nga lang, mas uh, na-treasure ko talaga, na-treasure namin yung moment na bisitahin yung mga famous uh, largest um, attraction dito sa UK. Is dahil isa yun sa mga pangarap ko at... Uh, Gusto ko rin naman makita ng anak ko. So, ayan. Kahit busy kami, busy si asawa, pero okay lang. At least, uh, nagawa naman namin yung part namin na naigala naman namin yung anak namin. Pero sabi nga ni asawa, parang hindi naman si Henry yung nag-enjoy. Parang si nanay naman yung nag-enjoy. Sabi ko, okay lang yun. At least, may history naman siya. May maikwento siya sa mga classmate niya, sa teacher niya na, o, oh, nakapunta kami dyan ng mami ko, ng daddy ko, nakavisit kami dyan. So, it's an honor na mabisita mo yung isang lugar na ganito, isang uh, sikat na attraction dito sa UK. Thank you guys for watching!